Do you ever stop and think to yourself, what am I doing with my life? Do you ever take a minute and just wonder how it is that everything that happened in your life led you to where you are right now and what you're doing at the moment? Because that's what I've been doing the last week and especially the last few days and really tonight. Tonight I sat there and asked myself, what am I doing with my life that I decided to watch the New York Yankees just no show yet again and to watch this pathetic, awful, non-existent Yankees offense continue their week-long stretch of not scoring more than three runs. I sat to myself and I was like, how did I just, why did I decide that this was a good idea? Why did I decide a couple years ago, a Yankees daily recap channel? That sounds like a lot of fun. Why did I think that was going to be fun? Because this is not fun. I've met a lot of good people. I have had, you know, I've had good interactions with a lot of Yankee fans and you know, gotten a nice job out of it. There's a lot of cool things. But right now, this is not fun. It is not fun watching the Yankees just die every single night. It is not fun watching this offense not even pretend to care, it seems like. And again, I would like to reiterate, the last time the Yankees scored more than three runs was August 8th, that nine-run display against the Mariners. They have not scored more than three runs in a week. It has been eight days now, eight and counting. Since then, zero runs, three runs, two runs, three runs and a win, zero, zero, and then tonight, finally, they got one. Thank you, Andrew Benatendi, you gift from heaven, for actually hitting a triple off the wall and leading to the Yankees' first run. But of course, the Yankees had a chance to maybe get something going in that inning, but they grounded into a double play. Who was that? IKF? I don't even remember at this point. Or actually, I think it was probably Marlon Gonzalez. Marlon Gonzalez. Yeah, it was Gonzalez. He grounded into a double play. And that was just one of many pathetic outings from the Yankees tonight. Even in the eighth, Torres hits a single. We get Judge on. He grounds into a fielder's choice. It was another night where you just you just sat there and you're like, when is this going to change? How How is this last week? I mean, my gosh, getting your eyes plucked out of your head is less painful than watching this team. Getting kicked in the groin constantly for five hours is less painful than watching this team. I would rather be trapped in a house with Ezra Miller for 24 hours than sit there and watch another frame of this New York Yankees offense right now. The key word is right now. The Yankees could turn it around. I don't think so for Ezra, but the Yankees could turn it around. But it doesn't look that all promising. Four hits tonight, two of them from Benetton. I'm recording this in the game. 0 for 4 runners in scoring position. They have four runners on. What are they? Ground into a double play, I think at least once. The fifth inning. That, that just killed me. And you knew it was over from the first inning on. I'm not going to really blame Cortez. Nestor, Nestor did fine tonight. Randy Rosarena. I'm, I'm getting flashbacks to 2020 when Randy Rosarena just killed us. I'm getting flashbacks to that without the run home run tonight. But then after that, you knew the Yankees weren't going to do anything because they have shown nothing in the last week that makes you think they were going to do anything. And so it went, one, two, three in the first. Ben Tendi single and two strikes out in the second. One, two, three in the third. One, two, three in the fourth. They do score in the fifth, ground to a double play. One, two, three in the sixth. Um, they get Donaldson to hit a single, and then they go one, two, three after that. And then Torres hit the single in the eighth, and Judge Gunn to do choice. And I'm going to assume that nothing happened in the ninth inning because nothing happens with the Yankees right now. Nothing is happening at all. It is a standstill, completely dead. There's nothing. The train is not moving. The train is stuck there. I would like a little pulse from this team, something, anything, but no, we're not getting it. We're just getting another no-hit night from Judge and Rizzo, Trevino, and Duhar, IKF, Gonzalez. I'm now worried that Judge, my fear is that the next two months, the Yankees are going to collapse totally. Judge is not going to hit that many more home runs, and everything goes so bad that they, they actually give the MVP to a ton. That is my fear, because all I want is for Judge to break the home run record, win MVP, but now I'm thinking it's not going to happen. I'm going to fear, that is my worst fear that I actually think could happen. Yankees collapse in the next two months. Judge doesn't do that great because the rest of the team collapses. Otani wins the MVP. And then the Yankees decide, you know, we don't need Judge. He wasn't that great for some stretch. We'll just get rid of him. That is my fear. And I'm actually worried that's going to happen. But now I'm looking at it. The Yankees are now nine games up in the American League East. They're, they're coming. The other teams are coming, folks. And again, forget forget the home field advantage that we talked about. Forget that. That is long gone, I feel like, at this point. They're nine games up. This once insurmountable league is now single digits. Yankees are now 1-9 in their last 10. Rays are now, what, 7-3 in their last 10? It, it, it's, um, it's brutal. It's, it's disgusting. I am, I am a broken man watching this. Watching it every night. Not, how did we win the one game against the Red Sox? This should be six, seven losses in a row. But somehow we pulled that out because IKF actually had a pulse for one minute. And actually gave the team a lead. This should be seven losses in a row. 
But it's, it's thank again, thank you, but this is the second three losses in a row. As this team just continues to crumble since the se- beginning of the second half, they were 64 and 28 to start the second half of the season. Since then, they have gone 8 and 16. 8 and, excuse me, 8 and 17. Embarrassing, pathetic, trash, abhorrent, criminal, disgusting, decrained, decrepit, just an abject failure, um, catastrophic, whatever other word you want to use, I feel comfortable using that. Even if the situation means absolutely nothing to real life and doesn't affect the, the, the daily change of the universe, it matters to me, and that's all that matters right now. I, I know that there's other important things, but right now the thing I care about the most on my family is the Yankees. And to see them right now be so anemic on offense, it, it just kills my soul. It kills my spirit. And now I'm sitting there and wondering just, ugh, I don't know, how much worse is it going to get? How much worse? I posted the, the meme earlier tonight, the, the famous Tony Snell meme, where he's, his box score was 0 0 0 0 0 28 minutes, and I posted that under Yankees offense right now. Well, except for the one run, uh, that's pretty much accurate. But there, there's there's no heartbeat on this team right now. Everybody looks dead. Again, even when you get a good pitching night from Nestor, nothing else happens after that. I am really worried where this goes from here. Can they can they pick up the pace? Something. But as we've learned, every night, that's like Stockholm Syndrome. Or it's like, it's like Groundhog Day every day. Oh, maybe the Yankees will turn around today. Maybe the Yankees will turn around. Maybe today they'll score three runs. Maybe today they'll be able to... No, no, and every day I'm just disappointed. And I knew today when we just picked up, put together another horrible lineup, I just knew that we weren't going to get anything. And then especially, turned it on, home run in the first inning, and I just knew we were in for two and a half hours of pain. Two and a half, three hours. When the Yankees, when Donaldson grounded out to end the fourth, the boos that we heard were so loud. You could tell these fans are fed up. These fans are so ticked off. They wanted to believe in this team. They wanted to think that this team was going to, that this team was different. That after all the doubts that we had in the offseason, in the first half of the season, we were all ready to believe, you know what, we were wrong. This team is great. This team fights back. This team has heart. This team has so much character and strength and they're able to come back in, in all these games. We wanted to believe in this team. And now here, at the beginning of the second half season at least, we all, I think, are starting to realize that was a mirage. That that was all a joke. That it wasn't real. That it was fake. That it was Manti Teo's girlfriend. Sorry to put that joke out there, but I saw this documentary on Netflix and that brought me back. But it's fake. It's not real. It's imaginary. It's an illusion. That is what the Yankees were in the first half of the season. And right now we're seeing what they probably are here in the second half. And I would love to be wrong. I would love to think in October things are going to change. But I feel like I said that in 2020. I was like, yeah, things will change when they get to the second half of the season. 2021, things will change when they get to October. I feel like I said this every year. And every year it's the end the same way. The Yankees either don't show up in October... Or maybe in this case, they might not even show up in October. I know that they're so far ahead, I shouldn't even think about that. But the wins, but if you want me to believe they're going to make the playoffs, you better start winning. I know that on ESPN, there are a 99.9% chance to make the playoffs. So I get that it would be almost impossible for them to make the playoffs. But don't make me think that there is a slight possibility that that happens. Don't, don't even make me believe that, this is going, that, that, that there's a chance that you don't make the playoffs. Finish the job. Get wins. Bring up some young players. Sit the old ones down. Sit the guys who aren't doing anything down. The DFA Aaron Hicks. Or anyone else you want to... I'll just name Aaron Hicks. But DFA anybody. If you get rid of Joey Gallagher, go to Hicks. I know he's got three years off this contract. I don't care. But figure out something here. Cashman Boone. Do something, anything to turn this team around. And players. I mean, could you show a little bit on offense here? Could you... Could, what happened to that team in the first half? What happened to... Was that just the first half thing that you guys were learning to hit the bat? That you guys were learning to hit? What 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 changed? I'd love to know. But right now I sit here at another lost, pathetic Yankee game. And I just sit there and I'm like, I don't even know. I'm, I'm just, I'm tired. I'm sad. I want this all to end. I want this to end. Hopefully it will end soon. Hopefully the Yankees will turn around. But I have no confidence. I have no faith in this team. And it is so miserable having to sit through yet another game yesterday, today, where they don't hit. And you knew from minute one they weren't going to hit. Tampa's a good team, but are they really this good to where they shut us down like this? I'll shout out to Springs and everybody else on that team, but are they really this good to where they shut us down two games in a row like this? I don't know. I think it's more. it might be more Yankees right now, but whatever it is, whether it's more Rays or more Yankees, the Yankees keep losing. The Yankees keep free-falling. This is not a good sign. The lead is now single digits. Fix this! That's it for now. I'll be back tomorrow. I don't know why. This is my life!